Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to set up my tent in 40 mile an hour winds. Here I am approaching the summit of what's called Luke's Mountain and it's one of the windiest locations in Northern Ireland. So I have the pole bag ready and I stay low to sort of kind of keep out of the wind and now I'm just assembling the pole for the tent. The tent that I have chosen tonight is my Helleberg Act and now I really have just got the pegs on the ground and I'm zippering close the peg bag in my rucksack so that the bag can't blow away. So I have a really good grip of the tent here and you can see just actually how windy it is. Now I have the tent pegged out on the windward side and each of those peg locations are actually double pegged and I'm putting the pegs in at an angle and making sure that they're absolutely buried and secure. I know I'm actually setting out the guy lines so that when I pop the pole up the guy lines are already there to kind of support the pole or can be adjusted to do that quickly. And now I'm just threading the pole through the pole sleeve and popping the tent up. And at this point here you can see the guy lines are already supporting the pole and then just uh, guying the tent out on the windward side just checking the tension to get it done as best I possibly can and here you can see now the tent in the wind 40 miles an hour what about this for a trick pump sack fills by just opening it up I don't even have to blow into it because it's so windy And again, just letting you see I have attached an additional guy line to the tent. And now it's just starting to get dark. So I hope you enjoyed uh, me talking you through the setup of the tent there tonight. Um, I didn't really have any issues, but it just took a long time just getting everything set out. Uh, and that's what you need to do. You need to spend the time to make sure every single thing is battened down 100% the way that it should be. And unfortunately that just does take time. So tonight we will see how the Helleberg Act 2 gets on uh, against Luke's mountain. Uh, this mountain has tried to blast me off it on many an occasion before. It has even stolen my sleeping bag out of my tent. And I survived that. So we'll see if I can survive again tonight. So at the moment you're looking at the inside of the Helleberg Act 2 in 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. Now you can see that my sleeping bag is touching the inner of the tent. I've got a really big sleeping pad and there's just really no way around that because there's not enough height. Um, it is going to really rain heavily tonight so we'll see if any moisture or dampness actually comes through and we'll see if the bottom of the sleeping bag uh, turns out to be wet. So look, now we're looking into the vestibule on the tent and as you can see there is absolutely tons of room. Now up at this end, you know, I've kind of got my boots and pack and everything uh, and then down at the other end I've just left it free for getting in and out of the tent and earlier on for cooking. And although the wind is coming from this direction here and it is quite windy the way I've got it set up, I've it pretty well sealed off draft wise. So I've just got this whole space on the inside of the tent and particularly here the way that this door rolls back and the door is also the full length of the tent just gives you so much interior space and easily enough room here. I mean I'm actually seated up at the moment but as I kind of said earlier if I bring my feet back a little bit you know you just are a little bit limited you know space wise when you're into the wind like this. Uh, I might even at some stage try this tent completely vestibule into the wind and this would stop the inner pushing down here uh, or the outer pushing down here on the inner but I mean it's manageable uh, and I'm really really comfortable so really the part of the idea of tonight is to give you real world updates on how this tent is actually doing so not sure how well you can see that you probably will be able to see it but because the outer on the outside is getting pushed against the inner and it's lashing rain, there's a little bit of dampness getting transferred onto the inner 
and obviously coming through the inner a little bit. Where it is and the amount of it's not really a problem, um, but we'll sort of keep you updated throughout the night uh, and let you see how it is, actually is in the morning. Good morning, as you can see, I have survived Luke's Mountain. Um, last night, the wind sort of kind of stayed at 30 to 40 mile an hour, so no real dramas, and the tent coped absolutely no problem at all. So regarding the tent, um, I will make some references to my Fall Riven Abisco Light 2, because you know recently I have been more or less saying that it was the perfect tent. Um, and the debate is still out on that, but this is really about this, but I will make some comparisons. So first of all, I definitely found pitching this tent a little bit more difficult. It's just more quirky at the ends, uh, and particularly with, you know, with the high winds on, on the vertical rods at the end of the tent, you know, to, to get the inner and the tent sitting reasonably well, you gotta crank up and put a lot of tension on them against the wind. And it just took a lot of time, you know, the fuel raven's just a bit more straightforward. But I must say, once the tent is up and I got it secured, I felt really, really ha happy with it. Now, inside the tent, you know, again, just because it's a smaller tent, there's just a little bit more tent deformation in the wind, so your space is definitely restricted. Now, that's something that you just kind of, you know, get used to, you know, how much space do you really, really need? The first night I spent in this, after I'd been spending a lot of nights in the Fuel Raven, I kind of struggled because there was a big difference in the internal space. Whereas now on my second night, I've kind of got used to it a bit more and I've been able to adapt and I've coped, you know, pretty, pretty well and been very, very comfortable in the tent. Uh, I had a little bit of condensation, nothing that really wetted out anything. I mean, you'll not really be able to see it. The bottom of the bag's a little bit damp, but it's not soaking wet. And so I've actually had a great night. I've really, really enjoyed it. I really, really have, and I think that this is a great tent. I think it's done very, very, very well. And once you kind of accept and adapt to the space, then, you know, it, it's really good. So I'm very, very happy with it. So look, thank you for watching, and I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I honestly have had a great night's camp. Uh, and sleep-wise, you know, I got a pretty good sleep last night in the tent uh, because it just it wasn't too noisy and the conditions weren't too extreme. So another video will be up soon. Again, I'm not just exactly sure what that will be. I kind of, uh, I don't make them up as I go along, but I kind of just, um, I don't plan them out in advance either, if you know what I mean. I kind of sort of see what's sort of happening with the conditions and I try and do something that will be interesting and maybe a little bit different.